Hey there guys, if you've been looking for a better way to shop and are confused about the measurements on clothes and what they mean with your own body's measurements, then this video is going to help you understand that. Hi, my name's Loren, clothing stylist and personal shopper, and I help my clients portray confidence and success while being comfortable in their clothes. So today I'm sharing all about measurements for guys. So I have another video that's linked below that shares for women uh, what measurements to take and how to measure your clothes. So today we've got you guys covered where I'm gonna be showing you what measurements to take on yourself and then how to translate those to your clothes when you're measuring them. These are meant to be guidance and to help get you started. For the best measurements, I definitely advise that you see a tailor, but at least you'll have a better understanding when it comes to like neck sizes and sleeve lengths, that type of thing. Or if you're measuring clothes that don't actually have their numbers on them, if you're having to go off of mediums and larges, then you'll at least have your measurements to compare to the clothing itself, which will make it much easier. You will need a flexible measuring tape to take your own measurements, and then of course, when you're shopping, to measure the clothes. So stay tuned and get ready to see how it's done. Now I'm going to show you how to take measurements on yourself and what measurements you need to take on yourself so that you have those to compare to, to the clothes when you're shopping. So I have a volunteer here and I'm going to be showing you neck, chest, sleeve, and waist measurements. So to start, we'll do the neck. So I'll have the volunteer step towards me. And you wanna measure this um, around the neck loosely. You don't wanna strangle yourself, um, but a good sign that it's a good um, size for you is you should be able to put your finger in between the tape when you're measuring it and then that number, which in this case is roughly 17 inches, is the number you should take. So you don't want it to be too loose and you don't want it to be too constrictive. Next we'll do the chest. And this is um, measured just under the arms around the chest. So I'm going to have the volunteer inhale and then exhale. Men tend to hold their breath for some reason when they're doing these measurements. So we always like them to be relaxed so we can get an accurate measurement. So you'll note this measurement as well. I'm going to have the volunteer turn around and I'm going to show you how to take the sleeve measurements. So this is something I found that a few men have been surprised when I explain this to them, but a proper sleeve measurement actually includes part of your back as well as the length of your arm. So to start, you measure between your shoulder hinge across your back as so. So in this particular case, that's approximately 17 inches. Then you measure, you'll note that number. Next, you measure the length of the arm from the shoulder hinge to the wrist. So I'll have the volunteer bring their arm up, um, but keep your arm straight when you're doing this measurement for yourself. And you roughly want the sleeve to end um, roughly between like the, the top of the thumb knuckle and the base of the wrist. So there's a bit of a sweet spot there, but measure the sleeve length and then you can put your arm down. You will add the arm length um, that I just measured to half the distance between the shoulder blades. So that's a two number measurement. And then I'll put that description below so that you have that to refer to. And then lastly, what I'm gonna show you is the waist measurement. All right, so I lowered the camera here for the volunteer so you can see the waist measurement. So you'll hear my voice instead of seeing me, um, but I'm crouched down right now. So the waist is exactly what you think you measure around the waist. So the volunteer is wearing pants and a belt. You could do this without those for your own purposes, but you'll just measure around like so. And if you need to inhale and exhale to relax, you can do that as well. So the last measure will be the inseam, which I will show you in the next part of the video using the pants because it's just not possible to show you with the volunteer. But at least now you have an idea of where to start and what measurements to take. Alrighty, so once you have your measurements, it's time to go shopping and compare those numbers to the numbers on the clothes. So a few things uh, before you do that, when you're shopping for men's dress shirts in particular, and sometimes men's casual shirts, those garments will typically have numbers on them. So for shirts, the first number is the neck size and the second number on the tag will be the sleeve length. So you don't actually have to do those uh, measurements on the clothing, you can just use the number to compare to your measurements. For dress pants, you're typically going to see the waist as the first number and then the inseam. So again, you don't really have to measure those as much. You can always double check to make sure, even though the numbers are you know, supposed to be the same. Sometimes, you know, every, uh, every brand is different. So sometimes a 30 inch waist won't exactly measure like that and it may not work for you. Same thing with inseam. So it always helps to double check those things. So when you're ready to measure the clothes, uh, keep in mind that any measurement around your body is three dimensional, right? So you've got your chest or your waist, but when you're comparing that to the clothing item, you're comparing it to a flat lay measurement. So you will have to take the flat lay measurement and double it to compare it to your numbers. So I'll show you what I mean by that. 
So let's say you're looking at shirts that have no size on them. For example, this shirt is just an extra large and you wanna compare it to your neck size. Okay, so the neck is a little hard to show, but here's what I've done, is roughly lay the tape on the inside of the collar of the shirt and I'm holding it in place to show you. This is approximately 17 and a half inches. Uh, it is easier to do this on your own when you're not trying to do it in front of the camera, but this is roughly how you would measure it. Then you would measure the chest, which is going to be from underarm to underarm to compare to your own chest measurement. Again, these numbers are typically, chest numbers are not on shirts, but they are your jacket size, FYI. Um, so then you'll measure across like this. So I'll just show you picking the shirt up. This is approximately 23 inches from underarm to underarm. Now recall the sleeve measurements. We took the distance from the back across the shoulder blades as one number, and then the distance from the shoulder hinge to the wrist as another number. When you're comparing that to shirts, you would do the same thing. Again, this is for shirts that don't already have the sleeve length on them. So half the distance from the middle of the shirt to the shoulder seam is approximately 10 inches. And then we measure from shoulder seam to wrist, um, to the cuff, excuse me. <laughs> so that's about 25 inches. So roughly this would be the equivalent sleeve length of around 35 inches, give or take. Obviously you can try things on to confirm that they fit you properly. Next we have pants. So you will measure the waist. These particular pants have just say regular fit. So that is not overly helpful to know what does that mean, right? This is why measurements are so handy. You measure across the waist as so. This is about 20 inches. Here you go. You would double that to compare to your own waist. Now for inseam, it's a little hard to show here just because the camera angle, but you're essentially measuring from crotch to hem. That is the inseam. So I'm going to bend this up and show you. So this is about a 33 or so inch inseam. So that's at the hem. This is from the crotch approximately. This is much easier when it's hanging down, but I'm just trying to show you. Um, and then you would compare that to your own inseam measurement. Again, when you're taking your own inseam measurement, you're also taking it from the crotch to roughly the top of foot. Dress pants for men should hit just below the back of the dress shoe, and then jeans for guys should hit the floor, so roughly the base of your heel without shoes on, so just so you know what to look for for lengths. So those are the basic measurements and how you apply them to the clothing items. Let me know if you've got any questions by commenting below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel so you're made aware of when future videos are available. Take care everyone, and I'll see you next time.